Hey everyone, Surreal K9 here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 3 Absence of Detention. In the last episode, I gave a brief demo of item world duplication. And as you can see, I have indeed been duplicating my items. Uh, you can't really see them except on Adele and Saitama here, but that's okay. I mean, look at that. Look at those coaches. So yeah, that is what I am doing. In this episode, I am going to uh, switch equipment between a few of our guys. No. Uh, Champloo? You get the honor of, of having a million coaches. There. You are now even more of a badass teacher. Why am I doing this instead of keeping everything on Saitama? Well, because we are not going to be using Saitama. As you well know, the party in Disgaea 3 has a limit of 10 units. And we have 10 units who are part of the main story. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, plus Adele, actually. <laughs> I could use Saitama instead of Adele, but I'm going to stick with Adele. Just because, you know, he's Adele. He is the best dude. So yeah, I even leveled up, I even took the time to level up Barrel a bit. And all this has been in preparation for the final side story, at least as far as I'm aware. Death Institute Majin Academy. Let's make sure the, uh... Okay. Gotta make sure the volume on my TV isn't all crazy crazy. Let's go! The Nether Institute Evil Academy was built in order to educate honor students. After Mao became Dean, his new policy of allowing students to flunk as many times as they wanted only attracted more students. Meanwhile, Mao's freshman class was about to welcome a new transfer student. This was only a precursor to the trouble that the Academy would later face. What? <laughs> now, Beryl, you must admit defeat. Really? Me, the great delinquent Rass Beryl, accept defeat? Come on, my lady, hold it together. Yes, my lady. Please try to remember all that time, all those years you've dedicated to volunteering. This level of delinquency is off the charts. Paying tuition before me and attempting to pay her lunch fee. Oh man, Beryl has a rival. What's going on, Miss Beryl? Are you okay? Did Mao do something to you? I doubt it. I heard them talking about paying fees. That's right. I didn't do anything. It's all that new transfer student's fault. What? Our school is getting a transfer student? Yes, and not just any transfer student, but a delinquent girl that has even shocked our lady. Miss Beryl? Shocked? That just means she's a really good person, right? Is she the one who paid all her fees? According to Jeffrey, she's paid up. I've never even heard of anything like that before. I, I almost don't believe him. I came to see what she looks like. She may just be an honor student pretending to be a delinquent in order to trick me. Trick? Oh, I get it. I won't know if she's a true delinquent till I see her with my own eyes. It's not like me to believe rumors about a person who I've never met before. Let's go to see this transfer student. Yes, my lady. Oh, Miss Beryl is back to normal. That's good. We should go as well. Ah, uh, I don't know what's really going on, but there's a lot of talk about this new transfer student. I hope she's just as nice as Miss Beryl. 
agree. I also hope that the transfer student is just as cute as the sparrow. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Once again, Kyoko's voice actor apparently has a cold or something. I don't even know. Let's check out these chests. Oh man, 8800k. That's pretty great. Madam Butterfly, which, uh... Don't I have one of those on Gary? I do. It's a legendary. There's our, uh, Parallel Whirler, who we will not be bothering this time. Here's our third chest. Alright, let's talk to some of the students, see what's up. <laughs> <laughs> this seems like business as usual. Their parents pay for them, obviously. <laughs> You are the outfit shop. Well, I guess we'll see what that did. I honestly don't know what it did. But I guess we will find out. Homeroom is about to begin. Super Delinquent Transfer Student! Cruel Baptism. Let's go. Oh, hey there, Shampoo. Get happy, students! Today we welcome a new spice to this musty class. A brand new transfer student boom! I finally get to meet this mysterious transfer student. I'm so nervous, I feel like I'm about to sweat from my tail. I don't know what this transfer student is up to. But with my 1.8 million EQ, I will uncover her plans. It's a kitty! Hello, kitty! You're so cute! Hello, kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Um, my, my name is Rutil. My old school was in the human world. I just moved to the nether world. There are probably a lot of things that I'll have to get used to, and I'll probably be a hassle for everyone, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at Sapphire over there. She is just squeeing her heart out. What? Apologizing before doing anything wrong? What a tremendous delinquent! <laughs> Apparently, Sapphire what also likes cats. You can't just hug her because she's cute. I think you're scaring her. Uh, um, nice to meet everyone. Hey, you! I heard you paid your tuition and lunch fees. Is that true? Um, well, I paid my tuition, but they didn't let me pay my lunch fee. Well, da! Paying for food before you eat it? That's a major act of delinquency! I don't even want to imagine what kinds of complaints we'd get the day we started accepting lunch fees! Leave it to me! Even if more students start attending class just for the food, I'll be prepared! Boom! Shut up! You're a teacher! Don't encourage students to come to class! Don't make me fire you! I thought he was an unlicensed teacher. 
Using your power as dean in order to do whatever it takes to prevent students from attending class? Now, you, transfer student. You're just pretending to be nervous when in fact, you're actually planning something horrible. Uh, what? How can you accuse her of that? Do you have any evidence to back up your allegations? My incredibly evil brain has led me to jump to this conclusion. I don't need any other evidence. <laughs> Phoenix Wright would have a nightmare in the netherworld. That's an unjustified accusation. And again, maybe his job would be a lot easier. So, are you really a delinquent? Or are you just pretending to be a delinquent in order to lead us into a trap? Are you secretly an honor student? What? I am not a delinquent. But, well, actually, since things are kind of reversed here... I know what you're trying to do here. You are all trying to get to know the new student in order to discover her true flavor. Boom! My you phone is ringing. Once you battle, the cuisine and the heart will mix together to create culinary harmony. Boom! All right, that was my mom who is on a retreat somewhere. She was just calling to let everybody know she was there. You don't have to tell me that. Transfer student, I will welcome you to class by skinning your fake delinquent epidermis. What? Why do we have to fight? <laughs> Even All Nights is getting in on it. Champloo, uh, why do you have a spear? Ring of Friends. Increase stats by 5% per ally linked by adjacency. Cool! Kitty Cat Copter! Cat Lee Rave! Cat God cometh. Oh no, she's gonna summon Long Cat. <laughs> she's apparently a humanoid unit. I might just have to use her. She really likes fists, evidently. That's pretty great. Uh, Vato Bros, you just kind of do your thing. Behold, the power of raspberries! <laughs> and how do you do? This is nothing! I can't really do anything. Then at such a distance. Oh well. In case it wasn't obvious, I'm trying to get some levels for my, uh, my lower level guys. If I just used Mao and Adele, everything would be kind of crazy town. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh yeah, I never even looked at her uh, aptitudes. Okay, she favors attack and speed. Okay. I can live with that. Oh hey, apparently I've never used this attack before. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Definitely did enough damage, though. Leave it to me, kid. So happy. Okay, that worked. We got a speed weight Z. Nice. I don't know how this fight broke out, but it looks like I lost. 
I'm sorry, Miss Rutil. The people at the school are kind of... off. Uh, hopefully you will get used to that soon. Not only is Miss Rutil cute, but she's also pretty skilled. I like her even more now. <laughs> you were able to hurt me. You're really strong, considering that you just transferred in from the human world. D did I injure you? I'm so sorry. W what have I done? Don't worry about it. It doesn't hurt that bad. But, but if you don't get it treated, your wounds will get infected. And perhaps as a result of that... Then let's go get it treated. The nurse's office is like right around the corner. You might die! You're over-exaggerating! But, but... I'm not that weak. These wounds are nothing. Some spit would do the job just fine. <laughs> That's gross. Oh, okay. I I'll lick your wounds! <laughs> It's okay. I can tell you're worried about Miss Beryl, but that's crossing the line. Uh, I'm so sorry, but would it be okay for me to take care of your wounds? You sure are a great delinquent. Not even I can deny your delinquency. From now on, you're my rival. As fellow delinquent badasses, let's be friends. Are you sure? I injured you. Don't worry about it. We're the ones who picked the fight. You didn't do anything wrong. Exactly. We should be the ones to apologize. I'm sorry, Miss Rutil. D don't apologize. I'm not worried about it. What humility. You have truly moved me. Thank you, Miss Rutil. As classmates, I hope we can all get along. Y yes After a high heat battle, the new spice known as Rutil has improved the taste of this class. Boom! <laughs> Yay! Well, I guess that transfer student is a delinquent after all. Hmm, another delinquent. I already have enough problems with barrel. If this school gets another delinquent, it'll spell double trouble. What can I do? <laughs> All right, Rutil joins the party. Oh, and uh, the <laughs> evidently. <laughs> Evidently, um, the Master Bigster and Salvatore have left the party. That ain't good. But you know what? That's fine. Next time on Disgaea 3 Death Institute Majin Academy, we are going to continue the story. See y'all then!